drinking my electrolytes because I am fasting. If these three things happen to you after a fast, stop doing it. We're gonna talk about it today. But before we talk about it, I am drinking my Simply Primal Electrolytes Lemon Lime Flavor with some ice and a wine glass because if you watch the video where I told you about five things, something like that, I'll tag it in the description. Five things you can do to make fasting better for you. That's what it was. This was one of the things I told you about. The link is in the bio to watch the video. Also, the link is in the bio for those electrolytes. They are so good. I did say I didn't like sweet electrolytes, but there are times when I want to feel fancy and I'll put it in a little, um, mm. Yes, so let's get into it. If these three things happen to you after a fast, stop it. So let's say you break a fast and you decide you want to eat something that you know is not what you should be eating. This is how you're going to stop it if this happens. For example, there was one time I ate a chocolate cake from this restaurant that remains nameless. It was a round cake with cream in the middle and it was chocolate. And I said, ooh, let me eat this. Even though I broke my fast with protein, I was like, ooh, let me eat this. Bad idea. As soon as I ate that chocolate cake with the cream in the middle, I felt something go down my esophagus like a knife. It was like I was being cut as the food went down my esophagus. It felt like it was slicing my throat. It felt like it was a needle just going down my esophagus, down my throat. And it felt so uncomfortable. But what did I do? I decided, let me take another bite. Took another bite, the same thing. As it was going down my throat, I felt like a knife was slicing the inside of my throat. And it would go down and it felt like it was slicing my esophagus and it would go down and down. And I was like, what is going on? Took another bite, same thing. Eventually, five minutes later, my stomach started hurting really, really bad. Now, let me just tell you this, the body is amazing. It will ward off food poisoning if you're healthy enough. You don't even have to worry about getting super sick. If you're healthy enough and your body is used to fasting and you have developed healthy habits, whatever's going on in that moment, that virus, whatever that is, that bacteria, the body's gonna zap it. But you're probably not at that point yet. So what you need to do is never eat it again. I don't even wanna ever feel that feeling ever again. So I don't eat that thing ever again. So number one, if you're eating something and it feels like you're, you're being cut on the inside as that thing goes down, don't do it again. Number two, if this happens after a fast, stop whatever you did to make it happen. If you are getting headaches from what you are eating after a fast, you shouldn't have ate that. I don't care what it is, if you get a headache, after you end a fast from eating something, don't do it again. Don't end your fast with eating that ever again. I don't care what it is. I don't care how healthy it is. I don't care if somebody told you you should do it. If you're getting a headache, you should not be getting a headache. I was told hydrogen water is good for you. I get a headache every time I drink it. I'm not drinking it again. I don't care how healthy it is. I was told, oh, eat a, eat, eat a whole melon after a fast. I get a headache. I will not eat a melon after a fast. Again, it is too sweet and it gives me a headache. Now, will I never eat a melon again? I don't know, but if I get a headache, if I eat it again, even if it's not after a fast, I won't eat it again. Don't eat anything that makes your body feel out of order. Headaches, uh, feeling like a knife is going through your body. Acid, feeling that uh, acid that comes up when you eat. That is your body telling you, I don't like it, please don't do it again. Number three, if after a fast, you eat something and your heart speeds up, that is a sign that you ate something bad. I don't care what it is. Your heart doesn't speed up when you eat protein. Your heart doesn't speed up when you eat watermelon. Your heart speeds up when you eat carbs or something that your body did not like after a fast. Don't do it again. 
These three things should not be happening to you after you end a fast. Your heart should not be speeding up after a fast. After you end a fast and you eat something, it should not go boom, 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 boom. The only reason it's doing that is because you broke your fast with carbs. You broke your fast with something super sweet. Not saying you can't eat it ever again, just don't break your fast with it. You should be breaking your fast with protein, with healthy proteins. You should be breaking your fast with cucumber, healthy foods, healthy vegetables. You can, you, these are signs. You don't need anyone to tell you how to do anything. Just listen to your body and your body will tell you you did the wrong thing. Listen to how you feel. Focus on how you feel. If, if you feel bad, that's not good. I don't care what anyone says. If you feel bad, you should not be doing it. Your body feels good when you do good to it. It feels bad when you've done bad to it. That is how you can focus on having better experiences with fasting. Now understand that yes, when you fast, you'd be like, I feel bad, I feel lethargic, I feel tired. But one thing you're not gonna have is a terrible tummy ache. You're not going to have, if you do get a headache from fasting, there are ways that you can take potassium, take magnesium, get you some electrolytes, and it goes away. But when you break a fast, you should not be feeling terrible. You should feel better. During a fast, you're not gonna feel great. Your body is working and killing all those viruses and diseases and bacteria and the things that you've done to it over the years. That's normal. You should not feel absolutely great. But when you break a fast, you should feel great. You should feel good. You should have that high from the serotonin and, and the dopamine from finally being able to eat something. Those three things again. Food goes through you like a knife is cutting you on the inside. You get bad headaches, and number three, your heart speeds up. None of those should be happening, happening after a fast. I hope this helped you. I want you to be successful during a fast. I've lost over 60, 60 pounds from fasting. My first fast was 14 days. I lost 36 pounds in two weeks. I know pretty much everything there is to know about how fasting makes you feel, how it makes you operate, how it does the mind, the body, and the soul. It is so worth it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Talk to your physician. Make sure that you can do this before you just start doing this. I did not because I was just fed up and I just wanted to get my health back together. But I also don't have any known issues as far as like diabetes or anything like that. I'm pretty healthy, but I was just fed up and I was tired. But please, don't do this on your, on your own if you do have diagnoses of any kind. Speak with your physician and get this approved or speak with someone who knows about fasting. So I'm gonna finish my electrolytes. They are so good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, and it has that, mm, that Caribbean vibe. Like I feel like I'm on a vacation or something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, I appreciate you, I love you. I hope you have an amazing fasting day and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.